Hey guys, this is Mike from BTech Reviews here, and today we take a look at and compare the Google Pixel 6a versus the Google Pixel 6 Pro. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, a long this is a long-awaited video, right? Not really, but for those of you guys who wanted to kind of compare the Pixel 6a versus the 6 Pro, again, shout out to Tim, uh, Team Pixel because Team uh, Google did send me both these phones. I got this phone last year, a part of being being a part of Team Pixel, and so did I, I did this phone this year with the Pixel 6a. And first of all, again, shout out to uh, Google for doing this. I'm a small YouTuber, so this definitely does help out the channel. And secondly, gift from Google. I mean, come on, thank you again. I'm, and I'm excited to do a comparison here really quick. So, uh, you know, for the most part, you know, we've been getting a lot of complaints, I guess, uh, for the Pixel 6a, or at least I, I, I've been seeing a lot of feedback concerning like the screen and the refresh rate, et cetera, like that. So it is what it is, guys. You know, for the price point, you know, you are spending significantly less, pretty much basically half of what this phone is worth. And you're trying to pack it out into a small, smaller form factor, but it, you know it's still a nice-looking phone. And yes, it does have its, uh, I guess, you know, missing qualities. But it is what it is, like I said, and that's just my opinion, um, you know, for for the most part. But let's go ahead and just check out comparison, and you can see for yourself what this phone can do and compared to the pixel 6 pro what the difference is and we'll go, kind of go over some uh, key differences here so let's go ahead and both these phones are off by the way so i'm going to go ahead and turn both of them on at the same time and and i'm going to hold the, down the power button at the same time and let's see how long it takes for these to start on three two one okay it looks like the pixel 6a started up first let's go ahead and see which one is starting first? I might have jumped the gun on the Google Pixel 6a a little bit, but as you can see here, let's see. So Pixel 6a did start first already. 6 Pro, and you can see here that it's definitely taking a little bit longer. Keep in mind, I am running Android 13 beta on this. As you can see there, Android 13 beta is running uh, on this device, so that may be why it's taking a little bit longer. Uh, let me just go ahead and punch in the passwords really quick so that we can uh, maybe do a fingerprint test here um, on these devices. All right, so let's go ahead and turn both phones off. Okay, let's turn both of them off. Okay, hold on, let's see. And I got some cool backgrounds, some cool stuff in the background. So right away you can kind of see home screen that the Pixel 6a, the it looks like the fingerprint actually sits a little bit higher. I don't know if anyone is catching that or not. I'm trying to put them like together like from the bottom. It looks almost the same, but it's really not. It looks like the Pixel 6a's uh, fingerprint sensor actually does sit a little higher. And this was actually an original complaint for me. Uh, I really wish that the Pixel 6a and the 6 Pro or the next uh, Pro devices, the, the fingerprint sensor sits a little bit lower. I just don't think that it should be that high. I feel like you're almost sticking your finger in the middle of the of the screen there at times right You're trying to find it but anywho let's go ahead and do a fingerprint test from the home screen this is a, a, both of them have always on display uh, so let's go ahead and do that on three two one okay i don't know if you guys saw that but it looks like both of them were pretty much tied let's try this again and we're doing it from the always on display and then from there we'll do a, a tap uh, we'll tap the screen watch it let's tap the screen and then let's do that one more time on three two one Okay, that time it looks like the Pixel 6a uh, got it, so that's very interesting. Okay, let's try this again. On three, two. Okay, so again, you know, I guess it varies. And just keep in mind, guys, uh, I am running these on two different uh, speeds over here. So, so going o going over that, it, they both seem pretty good to me. Like Pixel 6a seems to have a slighter edge on the fingerprint sensor from from just the readings there and. Uh, and again, I'm, I'm using two different thumbs, so that could be a variable factor. But again, guys, both of these have beautiful screens. The Pixel 6a has a 6.1 inch screen. And whoa, hold on, I did not want to do that. So I just put in a plain background here just to kind of give you guys somewhat of a, a look of what this looks like on screen. And just to, keep, just to let you guys know, I am filming on, in 1080p. But I mean, it's a beautiful screen considering, you know, it is a 1080 uh, 20 by 9 ratio and it's 431 ppi 
uh, and again you know I have no complaints considering this is 60 Hertz uh, really you know I really like the design and the screen now of course the pixel 6 Pro you guys all know that this is a actually a curved display from the corners here and of course beautiful display this one would be a 6.7 inch screen so we're entering phablet territory over here and you know again the refresh rate on this uh, is a variable refresh rate right it is at a clocked at 120 Hertz opposed to the pixel 6a which is only again highest refresh rate you would get on that is 60 Hertz but if you guys go to the settings on the pixel 6 Pro <clears throat> let me go over here really quick so it just has a thing where it says smooth display you know it, is, it says automatically raises refresh rate so if I turn this off like what is my what is my refresh rate it's not is it 60 is it 90 is it automatically at 120 Hertz Tito if you watch this video let me know uh, because it's not really telling you it just says automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 120 Hertz depending on the usage so again that really doesn't that really doesn't give me anything too much or that it, I mean it doesn't it doesn't give you the option to change so going from there guys you know again I do want to just do a little app test both of these are actually running the tensor chip that came out last year right and again the pixel 6 pro again um, <coughs> is obvious you know you would think that it's gonna run faster but let's let's find out and again I'm running Android 13 beta so I don't know if that's going to to you know make any difference here but let's go ahead and, and try apps like instagram for instance on three two okay it looks like the pixel 6 pro won that one okay let's go ahead and do the uh, photos app now on three two okay hold on let's try that again i'm gonna have to kill that app completely because i don't even think i i i would press the um okay on three two pretty pretty close there I want to say the pixel 6 pro one on that one but you know that's speculation <laughs> it's speculation let's let's all try Twitter now on three two okay it looks like the pixel 6 pro definitely won that one and again I'm pretty positive my fingers both hit the thing on there all right messenger app on three two okay pretty much the same so again guys you know you guys are are looking at this phone and you're seeing well hey okay what's the difference in speed right you're not really gonna see too much of a big difference you know you know the key difference is the, the pixel 6a is going to be missing some features so for instance pixel 6a does not have wireless charging uh, the pixel a also does not have that third camera sensor <clears throat> I believe and let me just uh, verify that really quick again I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm going through the, the specs, but camera sensors are a little bit different here. Pixel 6a has a 12 mega that, that 12 megapixel Sony sensor that you know you got in all of the original Pixel. So Pixel, basically the Pixel 1 all the way to the Pixel 5, Pixel 5a. So all of those devices had this Sony sensor. <clears throat> and excuse me, I have a little bit of a something in my throat here. But the Pixel 6 Pro has a 50 megapixel as a sensor instead. But again, it, uh, the 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 Pixel 6 Pro has a third camera, which is a 12, pic, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. And again, that's going to be the key differences here. Now, of course, the Pixel 2 does have two cameras, right? It does have, it is a dual camera. You know, it does have, uh, how do you say, you know, zoom ins. And I, I believe it does have a, a wide angle also. But, you know, this one just has an ultra wide. So you just have to kind of compare it like that. Pixel 6 Pro has an a front megapixel uh, 11 megapixel front facing camera so let's see if we can get my face on on the screen here right and you know again both of them look great the again the the front the front camera on the pixel 6a is an 8 megapixel so just keep in mind again you guys you guys are getting you know but look I mean do I look bad do I look bad in both of these shots you know let's let's compare on three two one obviously you know you, you, you gotta let the photo processing go but let's look at the Pixel 6 Pro first, right? After the photo processing, boom, that looks good. And again, let's look at the Pixel 6a. They both look pretty good, honestly. You know, I don't have uh, portrait mode <laughs> turned on or anything like that. So, and again, I'm not going to do a, a rear camera test right now just because I'm not in that type of environment, right, guys? But, you know, it's speculation and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's what you guys think. Like, I don't know. Like, people, some people just hate, you know, the fact that, you know, 
these lower end pixel phones you know I, I guess to me they do almost the same thing you know it's very rare that you know you see you see these devices I got a missed call by the way um, you know you know they're very different but they're also very the same and I think that's what people hate about you know the a series phone so far okay let's do another uh, test here so let's 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 do like a, a scrolling test really quick so just so you guys can see like again pixel 6 pro on the right pixel 6a on the left So, well, okay, hold on. Let's try that again. Let's bring that up. Okay, so, so I mean, I can tell a difference. I can tell that the Pixel Six Pro does scroll a lot faster. But again, that 120 hertz refresh rate, you're really not going to notice it, unless you're maybe gaming and you're losing some frames of some sort but you know it shouldn't really be too big of an issue as long as you tweak the settings so that that's that let's go to youtube studio now let's see if youtube studio let's see if that pops up really quick okay looks like the pixel 6 pro one on that one and again i gotta give my boy cv a shout out because he's he's the one that does a lot of these tests and I would I would actually do a Geekbench comparison, guys, but Geekbench for whatever reason uh, is not on the Pixel 6a just yet, so that's why I'm kind of leaving that out for now. Let's see what app we can go through. I guess let's try the Play Store. We'll do the Play Store though, since it's both on the home screen. So uh, the Play Store on three, two, and again, pretty much the same thing. Keep in mind, I am using two different mobile networks here. I'm using Visible on the Pixel 6a and T-Mobile on the Pixel 6 Pro. So keep that in mind. Okay, you guys already saw me. Let's let's do the camera app one more time. Again, camera app's pretty snappy on both of them. Again, quick. Let's do quick pictures, I guess. On three, two, one. And again, <laughs> it looks so weird on both of those. But anywho, guys, you know I re I've been really enjoying the enjoying the pixel 6a for what it is you know again just to give you guys a quick comparison right so what's missing on this compared to the Pix pixel 6 pro is one you don't have that variable refresh rate of 120 hertz you only have 60 hertz and wireless charging that's basically it those are like the two big things that i would really care about now of course the camera sensor on the pixel 6 pro is going to be a little bit better but the Pixel 6a's camera sensor is not a slouch, to, you know, in whatsoever. I believe that's still one of the best camera sensors uh, in, uh, that you would get in the last, you know, in, in over the last five years. I, like at least in my opinion, you know, I've had at least three or four different Pixel phones with that same camera sensor, and I cannot complain about that. So, you know, both of these offer fast charging. You know, I, obviously this one has Qi charging. Uh, the Pixel 6 Pro has. What reverse wireless charging that means that if you have another device that's uh, that can charge on a Qi charger you can actually turn this on and use this as a Qi charger basically which is pretty cool um, you know again fast charging this one only has 18 watts the Pixel 6 Pro has uh, 30 watt fast charging which is obviously a little bit faster but again look at what you're spending on the phone guys battery size 4400 milliamp battery on the Pixel 6a 5,000 milliamp battery, but I can tell you right now that I actually get better battery life on the Pixel 6a and That's not you know, that's not I'm not you know blowing smoke anyone up anyone's you know what But that's you know, that's what I've been experiencing uh, Keep in mind Android 13 beta is on this phone. So again, I'm just giving you guys uh, a Comparison there six gigs of RAM on this phone tw um, 12 gigabytes on this phone so course you're gonna have a little bit more snap snappiness on, on the pixel 6 pro compared to the to the 6a six gigs is just you know to me that's more than enough you know I was even if this phone had four gigs or even three gigs I think it would still run relatively good I don't I, I don't think that you would see too much of a difference on that um, both are clocked at 2.8 megahertz uh, you know again on that tensor chip Can, you know again it's really you know speculation on on how fast you want the phone to be you know, I'm not complaining on either end. 
you know both both devices work relatively fast you know and again let's let's try power director and uh and we'll see which phone opens up faster on power director really quick and again i'm hold i have the phone on a uh kind of like a little mount because again my my left arm is still a little bit messed up from the accident so i'm it's very hard for me to hold both phones on right now so let's try power director on three two okay so pixel 6 pro slightly quicker but not too too much quicker and again guys speculation you know we'll, we'll see but you know guys again for the most part yes the pixel 6 pro it's a better looking device in my opinion um, I'm not too much of a fan of the of the curved display but I've actually kind of gotten used to it so I do like I do like the edge display a little bit I like I don't like how some phones kind of like completely go over this one it's just enough it makes the phone look a little more fancier the phone obviously is a little bit is a little bit fatter than the 6a maybe maybe not let's see especially that camera that camera bump back there so you can obviously the, the key difference on the camera bump I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera it's not focusing too well but there you go but you can obviously see the key difference on the camera bump obviously uh, the pixel 6a you're gonna have like that little matte finish on the side apparently I, I I thought the the glass the pixel 6a had a glass back but apparently it doesn't somebody correct me on this if I'm wrong the pixel 6 pro does have a glass back and you know that's something that you know again I don't I don't really feel a lot because I I have again a protective case i use the case that they sent me with that so shout out again to team pixel and i don't know guys you know it's really you know it's 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 like comparing apples and apples and, and i am going to connect i am going to compare the pixel 6a to the 5a just so you guys can see that comparison but again guys let me know if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys like the channel oh you know what let's do one more app before we go well let's do youtube before my dog start going crazy over here in the background youtube let's go okay so again almost the same on both of them guys we got watch jr go in the background one of my old videos over here i have two different channels going but let's scroll let's scroll it looks like youtube is actually scrolling faster on the pixel 6a i don't know why let's again i don't know if you guys are catching that or not And you know what? Let's let's check out the speakers really quick before we end here. Let's check out that Lofi music really quick. Oh no. Okay, hold on. My dog's starting to bark. Alright, so I did have to stop recording because my dog was started barking. But I don't know, I've never thought that the Pixel 6 Pro has such like great sounding speakers. That's probably one of the caveats I don't like about that but let's let's go back and let's type out Lofi over here okay that's the pixel 6 pro guys and again let's let's try this is the pixel 6a See the chats. I don't know what these people are saying over here, but that's all the way up. Volume all the way up. Okay, guys. So let me know what you guys think. I honestly think that the Pixel 6a was a little bit louder, but it was also a little bit more muffled, in my opinion. So, again, guys, you know you know i hope you guys enjoyed the, the video i i think that people are going a little bit too hard on you know the you know what what the pixel 6a is and what you're getting for the price you know again you're getting a lot of bang for your buck for the pixel 6a and you know again i really appreciate team pixel for sending this out to me uh to compare also because i'm again i'm filming on the pixel 6 5a over here by the way guys so you know again you know this is team pixel through and through over here right so i want to give again tito Aloha Android a shout out that's my bud right there hopefully he watches this whole video I know it's a long video but I wanted you guys to kind of kind of see what you would see between the 6a and the pixel 6 pro you know I, I wouldn't want to compare the pixel 6 the regular pixel 6 just because I would feel like that would be too much of a close comparison but anywho guys Mike from B Tech review signing off don't forget to smash the like button don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time